like I, I feel like Five Rhythms is about making organic people. It's it's for it's like that's what I feel like I'm like the Whole Foods is doing organic foods. Gabrielle's doing organic people. Just trying to get down to what's pre, what's real, what's really real, and suggesting to all of us that whatever it is, that's okay because it wouldn't be here if it wasn't. Like it's all part of the big dream. It's all part of the big plan. It's all part of the big program. So that if I have an ego or if I have shadowy stuff or you know whatever I have going, if I have emotions and all, all of this is part of it. There's, there's no who can stand here and go, no, anger's bad or this is good or this is that good and bad. What? Let's go tantra. You know, there's some tantra gods around here. Let's go tantra. It's like. What if it's all okay and it's all part of the dance and what we're meant to do is ground it, experience it, express it, and, ex and, and, and find a way to um, expand our, our, the wisdom we receive from it, we receive from it into a deeper connection with, with everyone. And, uh, and that would allow us to be free. If, if I didn't have to get up in the morning and, and protect myself from you knowing something about me or uh, you know how, how often we somebody will say um, you're a bitch or you're this or that and then we can spend like 10 years proving that we're not we can use a lot of energy we can make 87 phone calls we can get backup we can get we can we can get proof we can we can do all kinds of things we can line up our ducks we can do everything we can have a 100 conversations and rehash this moment we can, we can spend a lot of time, money, shopping, everything, efforts to, to, to counteract this concept that we've decided we could never be a liar or we could never be a this or whatever it is that gets thrown at us and triggers us. Rather than say, well, maybe, I don't know, since I'm everything, I might, you know, that could be. Then it's over and we're free. Isn't that nice? I mean, can you get that? If we could just accept everything and dance it all, that's what I love to do. I want to dance. I want to know my fear. I want to dance it. I want to know my anger. I want to dance. I want to see how powerful it is. I want to play with it. I want to play with it. I want to play with my inertia. I want to play with my, my um, tension. Let's see, what it, what's the tense Gabrielle like? You know, is that, that's just a dance, too. I want to, I want to play with the part of me that holds my breath. And then I want to pr play with the part of me that is desperate to breathe. I want to play with all these parts of me. I want to play with the part of me that's self-important and make you know, fun of her. I want, to, I want to play with the part of me that's terrified. I want to play with the part of me that's uh, analytical or that's judgmental. You know, and just and, and give all these like characters, so like characters, like a motley crew of characters without a center. It's like I want to go to my center and play all these characters for my own amusement so that I can begin to really know thyself, as Socrates says. I knew I was going to pick up one of those quotes from college. You know, that's number three. And to know thyself, to really know thyself is to know that we are everything and we are nothing. And that's brilliant because we can't really hold on to either one of those two concepts.